video with Project Daily. Today we'll be putting on my stock winter tires, which are behind me. So they're just the BBSs that have been painted. I did a little run through last video, so you guys would have seen that. Or there was multiple videos on my channel where we painted these and got these mounted. And we're taking off my summers, which are over there. Also can't forget that we're putting on my coilover covers today these little neoprene sleeves just to protect the coilovers throughout the winter because they do salt and ice, de-ice our roads so I'd rather not get salt on the coilover covers and decrease the life expectancy. As you can probably tell by the edit, I've already got this front end jacked up. Um, just about to put the coilover covers on, I will show you guys how to do that. I actually forgot where I put my key for my summer lugs, so they're just machine motos. They're so much lighter than these ones. I'll probably end up getting some nice lugs for my winters, and these will probably end up being just um, spares, because they are getting a little like chipped up, but they're good for track, because they're super light. Before we put on the covers, I just took my little brush here, and just went through all the threads and all the springs themselves, and just kind of got a little rocks out and stuff. They're actually pretty clean, except down here. Unfortunately, they aren't really that clean, but they'll get a good pressure wash and a good snow blasting this winter, I guess. All the sleeves are the same size, so we're just gonna grab one and grab a couple zip ties, which they came with massive zip ties, like twice the length, so I'm just taking two no kind of normal size zip ties and combining them. The first thing before you put on your coilovers is you wanna grab some white grease and put it on a paper towel and then spread it all over your coilover just to make sure if any water does get through that none of the water is just gonna be trapped inside and stuck on your coilover. Once your coilover is completely covered in white grease, take your coilover cover and you want the Velcro edge to be on the inside of your car, so facing this way, but it's hard to get buckled up that way, so what I do is I put it on like this and then you can rotate it with the grease and then you zip tie it. You should get the coilover past the little retainer at the bottom and on the very top of the hat, you can't really see because the lighting is not so great, but on the very top of this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and just spin it around. It'll probably give up from here, but you can always pull it down later and zip tie it. Okay, it is all spun around, so the Velcro is now running along the back side. This is just to minimize the chances of water or something getting in through that steam. Next, you're going to make yourself a little zip tie chain like this. If you don't have the zip ties that come with it that don't go all the way around, you can just make yourself a zip tie chain like this. So just sticking two zip ties together. And this will work just as well. As you can see, the little retaining ring on the coilover is right here. And I've put my zip tie below it so it will keep it nice and tight. Now just repeat it on the top. I put the actual zip tie on the very edge because if you put it above it, it's kind of where it swivels or there's a ball joint there so you don't want it there. And there we go, we got a zip tie up top and a zip tie down below and your coilover cover is complete. It's the exact same process on the rears. Um, the only difference is that your rears are a little bit longer. You won't get it to go all the way past the threads on the bottom unfortunately. You could get bigger coilover covers but then it would be a little awkward on the front so it's kind of pick or choose there. Before you put your wheel on it's a good idea to check your brakes, your suspension and all that. I'm going to toss the winter wheel on and show you guys how it looks and then we're going to get all of the rest done. Before you put on your wheel it's always a good idea to wire brush your studs. Also some people do this some people don't is I just put a little tiny bit of oil on the wheel nut as I'm screwing it on just to make sure it's easy to torque and I get the right torque spec. And there we go, one winter tire on, three to go. You can see back there the coilover cover is on and it adds a nice little black hint. So if you have really bright coilovers, it also hides those. You guys have probably seen people take on and off their tires, so I'm not gonna record three more tires, but I will catch up to you once we're done, give you guys a little walk around of my winter tires, how they look. Nothing goes as planned when working on Project Daily. So I was taking off the rear and I noticed a little rust spots in the, where I fixed the rust and stuff. So I decided I was gonna rust check and then rock or guard it, so that's what I did. And then I was looking up at the very top here. You see there's tape here, but that the rocker guard that's on my arches is rubbed off. 
I did not think my summer tires were actually rubbing at all. If you look at the white tire lettering, there's no black at all, so I was like, it's definitely not rubbing. So it's either hitting above or it's just not marking up the tires. So what I've had to do is I've had to go in there, rust check it, and then spray it with rocker guard. And then I made the mistake of getting rocker guard on my paint, that's why I'm doing this now, um, on the other side, which I had to lacquer thinner. And then another mistake, I didn't wipe off the dust, so when I wiped the lacquer thinner off, it actually scratched it, so I had to do a little polish there, just hand polish, and then I'm gonna be applying just some wax just to protect it. So that's why I have this here now, and we're gonna have to do the same thing with the rocker guard and rust check on this arch. I'm thinking maybe next year, because of this issue, I might actually just cut these arches out. It's a very tedious, very hard job, but I think it would be worth it if I cut the arches out. Got the passenger side arch all done, so here I'll show you the finished product. So there we go, we got the arch all covered in rocker guard now. It's nice and clean, and hopefully it doesn't rub too, too much. I don't think it'll rub with the winters, but the summers will probably rub right through it once I put them back on. We're done. All four wheels and coilovers are done on Project Daily. The last thing before I leave you guys with a little edit is I'm gonna soften up my suspension because I run quite stiff coilover dampening in the summer just so my wheels don't rub but obviously they do so I could soften it up but we're just gonna soften it up for the winter so I can have a little more comfort because some of the roads are pretty bad with the stiff coilovers. It's easy as going in here the engine bay and then going I think I want four ticks so one two three four that side's done one two three Four, that's done. And then I actually, when I put in my coilovers, I got a little extender. You can probably see it in some of my videos, but it's just right up here. So, soft. One, two, three, four. And let's go to the other side and do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four. There we go, Project Daily is all ready for its winter shenanigans. So I'm just going to leave you guys with a little edit because some of you guys were saying you wanted to see the car with the winter tires on. So I might as well just do a little edit, probably like 30 seconds to a minute before I run the outro. Until next time, peace out and stay humble.